Have you ever wondered what truly heals the heart's deepest wounds? What if the cure for all of our pain, whether emotional or physical, lies in a transcendental force? Today, we are diving deep into Rumi's poetry to uncover the secret of this universal force. A force that isn't just an abstract concept, but a practical remedy for our everyday lives. We all need it, whether we realize it or not. شاد باش ای عشق خوش سودای ما ای طبیب جمله علت های ما Stay with us to discover how love, the healer of all, can transform not only your soul, but your entire existence. Welcome to Rumi Podcast. This is Rasul. And I am Rayhana. And this is the third part of Rumi's Song of the Reed series, where we explore Rumi's timeless wisdom and its relevance to our everyday lives. Today, we examine some of Rumi's most profound verses, where he speaks of love as the ultimate healer. But Rumi isn't just talking about any love. He is referring to a divine, universal force that elevates the soul and heals all wounds. This isn't abstract spirituality. It is deeply practical and applicable to our everyday lives. Imagine for a moment a force so powerful that it could cure our self-centeredness, our ego, and even our physical ailments. This is what Rumi means when he says, Rumi describes love as both our Plato and Galen. Plato, the spiritual physician, and Galen, the physical healer. What does this mean for us? It means that for Rumi, love is not just a fleeting emotion. It's a profound, all-encompassing force that has the power to transform every aspect of our being. So love heals us both spiritually and physically. Imagine your body, crafted from the earth, ascends to the heavens because of this divine love. Rumi says love is the force that makes even mountains dance. A force so intoxicating and powerful that it can make prophets faint. Rumi is referring to the chronic story of the prophet Moses. Moses, in a deep yearning, asks to see God. And God answers by revealing his presence to a mountain. The mountain explodes. Seeing this, Moses falls down, gets unconscious. Rumi says the presence that God showed Moses was the presence of love. It was love that God revealed to the mountain. And unable to withstand its immense power, the mountain crumbled into ashes. For Rumi, this is not just a poetry. It's a testament to the transformative power of love. Divine love is what crumbles the mountain to dust and what makes Moses faint. How does love reveal itself? He says, if I could find right person, I would tell them the secret of divine love. According to Rumi, not everybody has the preparedness to receive the secrets of love. He points out that just like the reed can only sing when it meets the right lips, that is, when the reed is in the hands of a skilled musician, love's secrets are only revealed to those who are ready to hear them, those who have prepared their heart and their soul. هر که او از همزبانی شد جدا بی زبان شد گرچه دارد صد نوا Rumi speaks of a mystic who stays silent in the presence of those who aren't ready those who haven't opened their hearts to love just as a nightingale who sings in the presence of flowers a mystic discloses secrets only to the deserving چون که گل رفت و گلستان درگذشت نشنوی زان پس ز بلبل سرگذشت
And now we come to the heart of Rumi's message. All is the Divine Beloved, the lover by the curtain. The only alive is the Divine Beloved, the lover but dead. جمله معشوق است و عاشق پرده ای زنده معشوق است و عاشق مرده ای The lover, the seeker, is only a veil for the divine, the true being, the true life, the ultimate reality. When we surrender to this love, we are no longer bound by the physical. We are no longer bound by our ego. We become one with the divine. Thank you for joining us today on this journey. If you enjoyed this episode, check out our previous episodes where we discovered more of Rumi's profound verses. And stay tuned for the next episode where we continue this journey into the depth of the divine love, echoing from the Song of the Reed. Shad baash ay ishq khush sodaay ma Ay tabib juml illat haay ma ای دوای نخوت و ناموس ما ای تو افلاتون و جالی نوس ما جسم خاک از عشق بر افلاک شد کوه در رقص آمد و چالاک شد عشق جان تور آمد آشقا تور مست و خرموسا سائقا با لب دمساز خود گر جفتمی همچون ای من گفتنی ها گفتمی هر که او از همزبانی شد جدا بی زبان شد گرچه دارد صد نوا چون که گل رفت و گلستان در گذشت نشنویزان پس زبل بل سر گذشت جمله معشوق است و عاشق پرده ای زنده معشوق است و عاشق مرده ای